All right, so we're going to make do with what we got. I'm literally in my closet, my walk-in closet here, and I just made a little, my little office over here. <laughs> so I thought I would do a reading and uh, use the Light Sears Tarot. Got some other decks over here. And uh, we'll tap into the Divine Counterpart Energy, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. I just finished building some Ikea furniture, which was so much fun. <laughs> okay. So as I was pre-shuffling, I was seeing the King of Pentacles, King of Cups, and then here's the King of Cups again. So Divine Masculine, I say, in uh, his stability and feels, emotion, emotions running high, I feel. So, all right. There's all there. I, look at that. I split the deck, and look what we have. Just what I said. King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Grounded, stable, building his pentacles, focused on foundation, uh, loyalty with the dog here. King of Cups, intuitive, tapping into his intuitive intuition. Really feeling. There's some feeling. All right. So let's get Divine Mass and Overall Energy. Divine Mass and Overall Energy. Oh, that wants to come out. Oh, Eight of Swords. All right, so this is being mentally conflicted. All right, so let's do the Overall Energy for Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Queen of Pentacles. Stability, Foundation. The pentacles, that earth energy grounded. All right. So, eight of swords, the divine masculine, uh, overall energy. There's some energy of feeling trapped. This is all, also uh, mentally uh, feeling stuck. Actually, let's go ahead and look at the, what it says about the eight of swords. If I can find it real quick. Yeah. So... Feeling stuck, a time to open your eyes to unveil the truth, have more options than you thought, an opportunity to let go of an old story. So yes, they're being encouraged, overall energy to let go of an old story. Also letting go of being a victim because this, this is a self-imposed prison, so to speak. So the affirmation, I am free to choose my healing and my light. So this is about getting over feelings of helplessness. So while we can't control every experience that is put on our path, we can definitely work on how we respond to each one. Let go of old stories and be vigilant of any wallowing, low vibe, low vibe thoughts that you may be holding on to. Reframe your experiences as lessons and choose to heal. So that's overall what the Divine Asana is experiencing. So the shadow seer is being a victim, feeling helpless, using your stories or past experiences as excuses to remain shackled. If you are feeling trapped with no path forward, remember that this too is a perspective that can be lifted. It can be shifted. So when you choose sovereignty over victimhood, you become the fierce wielder of choice. You can free yourself from your shackles and shift your outward your outcome, your outcome dramatically by accepting that you are the, you are the person responsible for your happiness. So if you look at this side, see how it's just like, wow, like she's taking it off and she sees, you know, okay. So I'm curious now with the queen of pentacles, pentacles, where's the pent, where's the pentacles? the end okay oh my goodness so queen of pentacles is about a healer a working parent a self-made person material wealth and abundance strength and family and community a kind and nurturing heart groundedness yes so the feminine's focusing her on being groundedness on the being grounded down to earth Okay, so shadow seer, financial stress, being self-absorbed, smothering others, helicopter parenting, overindulgence, work home imbalances. So this self-made queen reminds you to step into abundance by shifting any shadows you are holding onto around wealth and security. You are safe. Pay attention to your finances 
to level up your money game and give yourself permission to rise into the upper ranks. This is a positive message of creature comforts and happiness. Show, shower others with warm blessings from a charitable heart as loyalty, family, family, and community are themes at this time for Divine Feminine. Your nurturing and down-to-earth approach will give stability and support to those in your life. So don't overextend your energy and avoid enabling others by overmothering them. They must learn to walk on their own. Bring your self-worth and guidance and your glorious, glorious, powerful love. I enjoy my deeply connected life and I lead it with an outpouring of warmth, abundance, and love. Okay. Beautiful. So divine masculine energy and his thoughts. And his thoughts. What is my mass in, in the mind space? Mind space. Whoa, a lot. Let's try again. Thinking about a lot of things, I feel. And thus why you have all the eight of swords. That's a lot of swords, which is swords is mental, is, is the thoughts and such. So king of cups. So in his mind space, he's thinking about it's like how he can bring his intuition more deeply in, in tune to himself. Okay, Divine Feminine, what's in the Divine Feminine's mind space? The Four of Cups. All right, so it's like, this is that boredom card. This is also just missing an opportunity. Uh, I want, you know, I, I do want to read these because I haven't really studied the book, but I really like how they explain some some of the cards so in the mind space masculine is thinking about yeah patience a love okay so yeah the king of cups is love emotional intelligence patience experience stability and balance creativity a wise leader being nurturing so he's thinking about how he can nurture i feel like it's like how he can nurture himself so that he can get out of this uh, feeling stuck energy Okay, look at, stay clear of situations that feel emotionally manipulative. If you are in a situation that asks you to navigate tumultuous energies, find your grounded serenity by calmly choosing care and diplomacy over force. Okay, yeah, so it's the balance between, like, being a wise, being wise and temperament, your, your moods, the moods and all that. So... Instead, seek to understand others through empathy, tolerance, and compassion, and emotional fulfillment will be yours. So that's what's on the masculine's mind here. And, okay, so let's see what's the four of cups. I want to see what they say about that. So the feminine is thinking of, okay, so what is frustrating, um, boredom, being a, being a brat, not appreciating what you have, introspection, stability, leading to boredom, missing opportunities for abundance. Um, so maybe if, I feel like the feminine is thinking about like, you know, particularly with, I feel like it could be with the masculine as well. Did she miss an opportunity with the masculine? Okay. So Let's see what this says, what, what um, feminine is thinking about. So instead of focusing on what you don't have right, focus on what you do. So this is why the overall energy, I feel like feminine is focusing on, you know, creating the stability and groundedness. Because in her, in her mind, she may be thinking about, oh, did I miss this opportunity? Um, yeah, it says shadow seer focusing on the, on the negative the time to practice gratitude, a gentle nudge to stop complaining. So if you notice um, feminines, if you're doing that, which is, you know, part of life, you see this beautiful rainbows coming in to bless you, all this beautiful energy. Okay, let's keep going. I don't want to be too long. Heart space for masculine. Heart space. Heart space. Heart space for masculine. Okay. Oh my, are you kidding me? Look at this, you guys. The queen of cups, which is... Divine feminine, okay? So that's the match. So in his heart space is the feminine. Okay, so we had overall energy, eat his swords, okay? Uh, the mind, thinking about how he can be more uh, contemplative and nurturing and balancing his energies and his moods. And in his heart space is the queen of cups. Seriously, that's so cool. Which is his feminine. 
and also within him the divine feminine within him but straight up in his heart space is the feminine so look at that high priestess popped out but we're going to get feminine's overall heart space feminine's oh, overall heart space okay Whew. Feminine's heart space is magician, beautiful. So, feminines are in their heart feeling like, what can I manifest? The heart, you know, how can I make the, this work? The infinity symbol there, which is representative of the connection she has with her masculine. So, the Queen of Cups. I just saw it. Where was it? The Queen of Cups. Okay, so in the heart space of the masculine is my intuitive heart openly expresses deep love. So in his heart space, he's feeling so much. There's a lot of emotions over an intuit, intuition. Okay, so extremely intuitive, a highly in tune emotional intelligence, love, compassion, sensitivity. So the Queen of Cups is one of the most intuitive characters of the tarot, floating in her dreamlike state of spiritual connection. She asks how well your emotions have been serving you lately and reminds you that you have the ability to connect on a much deeper level. Feel and accept your emotional intuition. So also, I really, I really feel like it's just straight up in his heart space is the feminine. that She's always there and just like re guiding the masculine. Okay, because they both have their crowns. See, see, they both have their crowns right, right above their their head there. So, the magician in her heart space, she's ready to like create from her her heart. Okay, we're gonna keep going because that's pretty self-explanatory. Feminine is like, what can I create from my heart space? Because what is in her heart? What was coming through? That's creative creativity comes from the mind as well, but it comes from the heart space. And what kind of creatively, create, creative, okay, you know what I'm saying. I'm just going to keep going. So we're going to say a message from divine masculine to his divine feminine message from divine masculine. Oh my gosh. A bunch of cards came out. Oh my goodness. Masculines. I'm going to say a lot. Wow. So we've got a lot of messages here. Yeah, you know, he's feeling conflicted, heartbreak, heartache, missing, pain. We've got three of swords, five of swords. That's, you know what, there's that eight of swords right there. Remember we had the eight of swords in his overall mind space. Sorry about my nails, you guys. <laughs> um, three of swords, five of swords. Yeah, feeling conflicted. Um, lots of just overthinking, just thinking about the, the, the journey with the feminine. Uh, could be just experiencing a lot because we do have the emotions. We have got cups, and the king of cups and the queen of cups. So his message to the feminine, he's healing some some deep, deep stuff right now. But uh, he wants to balance things out. And this is what he envisions with his feminine. This is beautiful, you know, foundation and legacy. See this happy family, the Ten of Pentacles is that legacy. And balancing out, this is giving and receiving. It's that beautiful figure eight energy. Okay, so what does the feminine have to say to the masculine? What does the feminine have to say to the masculine? Nine of Cups. So you are my wish with the I know. <laughs> Look at that. Ace of Wands, passion and new beginning, igniting this... Uh, she sees this passion within her own consciousness and within, and can feel the masculine. It's like, you know, my ma the masculine is also my wish fulfillment, and I wish to have the, you know, if I have these nine of cups and I'm ready to leap forward and I have all this passion within my consciousness and ready to ignite this. So that's, and I feel like the feminine is really focusing on her passion and, and creativity and bringing through uh, her own happiness as well as the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups, 
So it's like, I'm going to just keep giving this. The Nine of Cups is also like self-love. Okay. All these cups, you know, just bursting out from her. The feminine. Okay. What else does Spirit want to tell us? How about their overall energy together? Since they are already one. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, this is just intense, passionate energy. Yeah. Because they're both, look at this, devil energy. So, that this doesn't always have to be like in a negative way. I feel like this is very just, this is a lot of passion. All right. Uh, extreme passion. There's just a lot of passion between the two. And, and also kind of like in that shot, not a shadowy, just very passionate. There's just like lots of passion running through. Okay. How long? It's 15 minutes. Okay. Um, any other messages, spirit? Advice from spirit. Advice from spirit. That one came out. Death and rebirth. Yep. It's time for a rebirth, renewal, reset. Uh, for my own life, you know, as of Divine Feminine, I can relate, is about this time of re, re, of redoing, rebirth, renewal, reset, reimagine, re, re, re. <laughs> so here we go. And there's that infinity symbol in between right there, death, rebirth. So Spirit's advice is to look for, look for the opportunities here, you know, and shed the layers of the past and heal. And your bright future is right right there in between the trees. And to connect with this this rebirth energy. Um, yeah. And we have the king of swords. The bottom of the deck. You know, divine masculine energy. Getting more into his truth. And his knowledge and what, you know, what he believes to be true. And getting guidance from lots of spirit animals and guides and... So, let's see what cards I have in here. Let's do some Divine Masculine messages to Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, what messages do you have Divine Feminine? What messages do you have to for your Divine Feminine? Watching messages, please. I am seeing everything from a whole new perspective. And here's that perspective shift that the divine is asking both divine counterparts to keep going towards that perspective, different perspective. And so, especially with the King of Cups, oops, it, you know, reimagining, tapping into his intuition, you know, his feelings, his emotional intelligence, being more aware. So, I am seeing everything from an, from a new perspective. Because it's like the tower, you know. You can have a perspective shift overnight and just it changes you. Divine masculine messages. I got you. <laughs> I got you. So he's saying divine feminine, I got you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> beautiful my heart feels like it's going to explode yeah that's why we got we had the three of swords we had uh, in his heart space the feminine as a queen of cups very emotionally like more intuitive and just feeling feeling that heart connection and she knows that ace of wands this passion coming through they had both that um that devil energy which is also extreme passion uh okay what else so many more minutes, okay. I got on here. Oh my goodness, I went back. <laughs> I honestly could do a reading anywhere. I am fighting for us. So, whether or not you see anything in the physical, or you just like feminines don't know really what to do, and that four of cups energy, and just like you know, I'm going to passionately move forward in my life. They're, they want you to know that they are fighting for this connection. Yeah, and faith is the fuel. Is Faith is the fuel that creates miracles. So have faith, okay? And don't give up on experiencing love. Remember, love is everywhere. 
you can experience love in every now moment. And let's see what else. Yeah, look at, boom, I need to love myself more. That's that. Remember, we started off with the Eight of Swords, that mental imprisonment. The Eight of Swords is like, um, yeah, it's just, it's a mind state. And it takes uh, your own process and learning experience to get out of the Eight of Swords and realize it's a self-imposed prison. Like the, you know, she has toilet paper wrapped around her legs and her arms and she can get out. So, but a lot of it is having to love themselves more. And so when the feminine also loves herself more, that also helps the masculine to get into that similar energy. Okay. All right. So we have your, see what did I just say? <laughs> yes. This is exactly what I was just saying. You are my lighthouse guiding me home. The feminine and I feel like the masculine as well can be the lighthouse for the feminine, vice versa. But a lot of times I feel feminine is a lighthouse for the masculine. And your smile lights me up. Masculines are saying your energy, your smile, it just lights them up. And look at this message. You got this, babe. I believe in you. So we've got the similar message. I got you. You got this. We both got this. And any other messages? And get one of my cards. Tap into your energy, that energy flow. Okay, so for both divine counterparts, your energy field and paying attention and having that awareness of what brings you energy, what drains your energy uh, in all types of ways, physically, mentally, emotionally. So paying attention to your energetic field. And then we'll get one of these. Yeah, because you have the power within to shift your energy, to bring in new, fresh energy. Which is why we have the death and the rebirth card because it's like a restart about renew renewal, reimagine, reform, redo, uh, reestablish, all those kind of words there. So uh, what's at the top? Yeah, nine of pentacles. You know, I feel like they're both working on building uh, more stability in their lives. On an individual level and look at this oh how beautiful don't give up and I love it this landscape is similar to where I'm at like looks like this beautiful don't give up and don't give up on yourself like keep striving and keep keep going so don't give up you have the power within pay attention to your energy um, who you, and also like who you're giving your energy to all right because Twin Flames, you know, we are here for a reason. Powerful. All right. I have any other cards near me? Let's see. Got this bag. A bag of goodies. Ooh, I see Hathor and I see... Ooh, what's this? Hathor is the Weavers of Consciousness, another universe. Ooh, we've got the Hathors coming out here. The, br the bringers of consciousness, the weavers of consciousness of another universe. All that gold and blue energy. Gold. Also, okay, this is cool. I just, I miss doing a twin flame reading. This is great. I hope you all enjoyed these messages. Look at this. I'll read this and then I'll be done. The last thing I want to do is hurt you. I'm very careful about the energy Look at that I bring to you. And see how she has us in her hand. So the masculines are saying they're very careful about the energy they bring to you or around you. Um, so that's what that card is about. And bringing in their own, um, their own energy. So they're very careful about the energy. That's why I was talking about that. And yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you. And hope you enjoyed this message. All right. Bye.